Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, on my way out to the shop right now to get some more work done on the Integra. I will show you a couple of the things I got accomplished yesterday on it and then try to get a bunch more knocked out today. Uh, I just want to say if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel. It would help me a bunch. Uh, it only takes a second and I promise the quality of the content is going to get even better from here on out. Uh, but also, leaving a like on the video helps me out a ton. It's just one click. And then any feedback you guys have, um, leave it down below in the comments. Uh, I can use any suggestions people have, uh, anything you guys would like to see. Um, yeah, it helps a bunch just to have comments on the videos too, even if it's just a thumbs up or something like that. So the YouTube thing is all a game of like numbers. So as many views as I can get, subscribers as I can get, likes, it, it all helps me out tremendously, like more than I can even explain. So um, yeah, let's get the day started. All right, so sorry if you can hear the uh, 12 o'clock siren thing, but I don't feel like waiting for it to be over. So yeah, yesterday uh, I got a few things done that I didn't record before I left. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. The valve cover on and sealed up with Honda Bond. This is what you are supposed to use. I know a lot of people don't, they just use store-bought RTV, but basically because that's like $12 for one of those, but it really does work well. Um, today I can put oil in it and everything because now the valve cover has had overnight to sit. So we have a new gasket, Honda Bond, valve cover on, new o-rings for the Downstar hardware. I put the new NGK plugs in and then started running the wires. Um, I did get a nice, I've had this, I threw on a nice little MPC collector there. Um, so getting the top of the motor good, getting the valve cover good, got the new grommet in for the PCV, just got to run that. Um, I'm going to start taking off the fuel rail and get the new AEM one put on. So yeah, I just wanted to show what I did kind of at the end of the day yesterday. Um, I've started on the brake lines, but there's not much more to show on that until I get the prop valve. And then, yeah, should be good to go to get the distributor done, get that on, get the fuel rail in, and start getting a few pieces of the motor complete. Alright, as you guys just saw in the time lapse, I got the fuel rail on, 
it looks really clean, really nice. Fits the car, the engine bay, so much better than the stock. Uh, I got the PCV hooked up with the new grommet. Um, and then I polished up the distributor a little bit. It was kind of grimy. Got the new cap on, got a new rotor in there, got the plugs hooked up. And then started figuring out a shorter, cleaner route for the fuel line. I'm just waiting on a few fittings that I had to order. And yeah, that about buttons up what I can do right now to the top of the motor. Um, now I'm going to go underneath and get the oil changed. All right, that's gonna about wrap it up for this one. Uh, my phone died right at the end of that last clip. Um, so I went ahead, I put oil back in the car, put some of the stabilizer in it, just a good additive to use. And then while I was under there, I filled it with trans fluid. Uh, the LS Integra gets 2.4, 2.5 quarts. Um, I used Valvoline, Valvoline MTF Synchro Mesh is what went in it. Um, and then while I was under there, I pulled out like the old shifter bushing you can see was aftermarket, but definitely needs replaced. And then the front one is why I ended up doing this, is because I noticed how beat up this one was. So that's why I ordered that little energy suspension shifter kit. So. Uh, those will be going in. I gotta clean up the shift linkage and I might get a new boot for the shifter as well. Um, but I want to clean and grease all those linkages because they're all pretty bad. Some of them will probably have to get sanded too. And then, so yeah, the oil got a new filter and bolt. And then I also, while I was under there, uh, cleaned up the power steering where I'm gonna to have to loop it and then I did notice that there was a torn boot there so I might end up getting a new power steering boot uh, tie rod boot um, but yeah that's gonna be it for this video um, I have a detail to do tomorrow so you might see a video on the detail if not I will be back working on the Integra uh, by the next day so thank you for watching guys um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more, uh, leave me a comment. It's all very appreciate, appreci appreciated. And then follow me on Facebook at Garage533. Instagram is Garage underscore 533. And then for some reason I messed up on my TikTok, it's Garage534. But I'm going to change it to 33 here soon. So yeah. Um, I'm going to get out of here for today. I have to leave, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, snap. Got my new lawnmower tires. Look at those units. Believe it or not, it was like $80 for two of the tires for this. Kind of insane. But, had to be done. I think I should put a tow hook on my tra tractor. I'm, I'm a mower, I'm a tractor. And my prop valve came in. So this is the last piece for the brakes at least. I'll be able to knock those out. And then you got my stuff sitting here and just getting ignored. K24 is ready for paint. Who's got time for that?